In today's video, I've got five facts about Siesta from the series The Detective is Already Dead slash a character analysis video. We will be going over Siesta's bio, her abilities, if she's actually dead, and more. Now, if you enjoy these fact videos, make sure to smash the like button and share this video with a fellow fan of the series. For more weekly anime character fact videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss a video. Of course, if you want more 414 videos, why not head over to my Patreon where I have some exclusive videos, monthly hangouts, and early access to these videos before anyone else. As always, quick warning that there will be spoilers, so just a heads up. Anyway, with that being said, grab yourself a beverage, let's roll intro and get straight into the video. Siesta is one of the main characters in the series, often referred to as the legendary detective. Siesta is her codename, her real name, age, and nationality are all unknown. Siesta made her debut in episode 1 of the anime and chapter 1 of the manga. Now, appearance-wise, well, I saw the PV for this and I screamed, Origami! What is Origami doing here? Their, their appearance is most uncanny. That sounded detective-like, right? Yeah. Anyway, Siesta is described as a very beautiful woman with a pale skin complexion. She stands at five foot three and weighs 102 pounds. Her hair is short and white in color. It is worn down in a bob-like style and she wears three black clips on her right side. As for her eyes, they are a pale light blue color, sticking with the uh, origami Tobiichi theme, of course. Attire-wise, Siesta wears a gray and black gothic Lolita-like dress with a big red bow around her neck black stockings, and black gothic-like shoes. Siesta is an incredibly intelligent detective who stated that she can solve a case before it even happens. She has an amazing level of self-confidence in her own ability, and it's very clear to see why. She's the type that has an encounter swung in her favor before it even begins, as seen in the first episode where she reveals that she is the one who had it arranged that Kimizuka would have the case containing her musket brought onto the plane. Siesta also tends to use her incredible smart to gain what she wants. She wanted Kimizuka as her sidekick, and we saw how she toyed with him throughout their early encounters. She knew, of course, he was always going to say yes in the end, but he needed that little push. We also saw in that first episode that Siesta has incredible athletic and physical capabilities. Her level of mobility in a tight space during combat was truly a joy to see. Now, we mentioned the musket. Said musket is said to be her main weapon. Siesta mentions that she has seven detective tools, a master key, detective shoes capable of fly, and, you know, I imagine the musket was one of these items too. We don't know what the other four items were, considering that the musket was in fact one of them. I did try to find out what they were, but couldn't find anything. Maybe we will find out in later material for the series. Siesta's Japanese voice actor is Saki Miyashita. She looks, you know, new to the VA world as she has only voiced other characters such as Yei Yoshida in Wanda Egg Priority, some high school girls from Hori Mia, and Mitsuki Hoshino in the action Taimanin video game. Now, at the time of the making of this video, they have not released the English VA for Siesta. Who do you think would be a great fit for her? And of course, as always, once they have announced her VA, leave that in the comment section for everyone else to see. What the hell has happened to Siesta? Well, we know that she and Kimizuki went on to work together for three to four years after the plane incident before he eventually revealed that she was now dead. Now, in case you didn't know, Siesta is the Spanish word for nap, and it's also said that she isn't dead, but in a comatose state. So the name could be a play on this by the author. But if she's not dead, how did she give her heart to Nagisa? Well, I tried to find out what's going on here. In the epilogue of Volume 5 of the Light Novel, it states that she is in fact in a coma and not dead. Super confusing, right? So, the more I dived into this, I found out that she is stated as being a bioengineered human or as a half android, which would suggest that she is able to be in a coma despite the lack of a heart. 
And I guess the other main question is, are they or, you know, can they wake her up? After being given the REM treatment, the speculation surrounding her future is that they do plan on waking her up using her brain as the organ to power her android body. And I guess the other question is, how did she get into this state in the first place? Well, Again, unfortunately only speculation. Some say it was an injury after saving Kimizuka, others say that she decided to fake her own death to quit being a detective. But we just do not know the right answer at this point. So, based off what we were just talking about in the last fact, I did find out some pretty interesting information about who or what Siesta really is. So, Siesta is one of the 12 tuners. The 12 tuners are 12 different people who exist in this world to protect it from crisis. Our girl Siesta is detective. And each of these tuners have a name or code name similar to the Fate franchise if you've seen it. So just as Fate has, you know, Saber, Archer, Assassin, Berserker, and so on, these tuners all have names or titles such as detective, vampire, mage, priestess, and the list goes on. And on the top topic of the tuners, I can also confirm the identity of another of the 12 that we have met in the anime already. Of course, spoilers here, as I'll mention the name of the character and their role, I guess you could call it. So if you don't want to be spoiled by this information, I, 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 I suggest ending the video here. So we met a member of the police force in episode two who Kimizuka was very familiar with. You know the one, the red-headed, cigar-smoking beauty, Fubi Kaze. Yes, so she is actually one of these 12 tuners, and she is listed as Assassin. Really super interesting stuff, and I hope we learn more about this as the series progresses. And to finish off, as I dove deeper into what these, or, you know, who these people are, I stumbled across an unofficial source. So, you know, take this one with a pinch of salt. Anyway, I found out that the 12 people are also based on one of the 12 different Zodiac signs, and that their characters act according to the traits of said Zodiac sign. However, of course, like I mentioned, the source for this wasn't an official one, but it could be interesting if true. But thank you so much for watching my video, Five Facts About Siesta from the series The Detective Is Already Dead. As always, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and share this video with a fellow fan of the series. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. Links are all in the description below. And of course, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you do not miss future fact videos. As always, I want to give a huge shout out to Warwick, Animator22, Brian, Blake, Andrew, BS Tuna, Emmeline, Kivase, Chris, S Tauhai, and Zintag for supporting me on Patreon. Don't forget to head on over there yourselves to check out the amazing rewards, including a super special awesome exclusive series for Patreons only. But that is it from me. Till next time, my fellow weebs. Peace.